Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the show, Lil Mike Fight Night. I'm your host, Bear Evans, and today we're going to be talking about some really great fighters, possibly one of the greatest of all time, including in this list, who are possibly not going to be able to fight anymore and discontinue their career, whether it's through retirement, injuries, legacies, but all these kind of come down to injuries. We're going to go over this video. We're also going to be talking about Hazmat Shemaev as well, too. It seems that this story is trending a little bit, so uh, let me see if I can get some action. Let's go ahead and click play. Dana White is unsure if Conor McGregor or John Jones will ever fight again. Because you've said this so many times on the show, when you have $100 million in the, in the bank, there's less reason to get up and get punched in the face every day like Conor. And who knows what that number is now? Is there a chance that we've seen the last of Conor in the cage? It's a great question. Uh, when guys get up to that, Conor's going to be 36 uh, in July. And... Um, yeah, he's got plenty of money and, and, you know, I don't ever look at it. I don't ever think that guys like that, John Jones, who knows, maybe he'll fight again, maybe he won't. Conor McGregor, maybe he'll fight again, maybe he won't. You never know with some of the guys that get to that level. You, you never know if you're ever going to see him again. So with that, guys, yeah, obviously it's not Dana White saying definitively, hey, no more, you know, uh, well, I can't think right now, Conor McGregor or John Jones just saying, hey, these guys possibly not fight again. You know, John Jones going through a pretty bad peck tear. He's getting up there close to what's like 37, 38 now. Also with John Jones, too, he's already done everything. He's fought in everyone. He wants to fight some washed, I'm not saying Steve Bates washed up, but like he's old news in terms of the best heavyweight. He's no longer that anymore. He was at one point possibly, and you know, uh, considered by many as the greatest of uh, at his time at heavyweight. But you know, we've had Ngannou. Obviously, we have John Jones now. So fighting Stipe isn't something that John Jones has to do to complete his legacy. Is what I'm trying to say. So I can see that fight not happening. Also, John Jones. It seems what the fans want from him is to fight Tom Aspinall, which is actually a really hard fight. So if you're rich, you have everything you want in the world. You already have all the legacy in the world. You have all the belts. Why I keep going further? That's a great point. This video is mainly just more so thought, thought evoking. And then with McGregor, dude, he just fractured, you know, his freaking re-injured his leg that he literally compounded, fractured, broke, got metal, uh, you know, metal shin pins, whatever the heck you want to call it, rods in his shins, refractured the injury. Does he want to fight again? And also McGregor, which I was talking about in my earlier video, is his conditioning. He's been partying, things like that. You have to be so disciplined. You can, you know, relax some nights, but when it comes to fight camp, you got to put your miles in. I mean, you got to do your cardio, cardio, cardio on top of all the training. So yes, training can be fun. Sparring can be fun. Pads can be fun. But really when it comes down to it, is Conor McGregor putting the miles on that treadmill, getting on the assault bike as he putting the miles on that or the, the ladder that just continuously goes, really trying to get that heart rate up so he can fight for 25 minutes because we know Conor McGregor has never been a big cardio guy. When you're removed from fighting, your cardio goes down. It just takes a lot to restart that. And it could be a little nerve wracking for Connor too. Maybe it hurts enough. He's never pulled out a fight until now. It's like, oh man, like it's getting real now. He hasn't fought for years. He hasn't been training. And when you start getting closer and closer to that fight, Connor McGregor is not fighting a journeyman, man. He's fighting someone in the top freaking five. You know what I mean? So um, kind of interesting uh, take on that. The next thing I wanted to go for was going to be Hazmat Shemaev. As we know, we've seen that infamous Hospital photo everywhere. This is a guy on Hazmat's team talking about um, the canceled fight between him and uh, I can't even think right now, Robert Whitaker, uh, that was coming up. And uh, Robert Whitaker is still fighting on the card and they're getting a replacement. But as far as Hazmat, rumors came out that he had um, was pulled out either because of a sickness and then food poisoning started circling around. This guy named Tom Tam Khan. All these fake rumors about Hazmat Shamayev pulling out due to food poisoning is absolute bullshit. I was part of the camp and behind the scenes. As a brother, I won't share his dark times, but trust me when I say he was very sick and hospitalized. The guy is a beast to see him so bad. It wasn't a good time for us all. Praying for his recovery and comeback. Unfortunately, God had other plans and nobody could have anticipated or foreseen this. The weeks were tough and he tried every solution, but last week got so bad that it was impossible to fight. Inshallah. Inshallah, I don't want to ruin that, but I think it's like in God's name. I really don't want to, to butcher that. He'll be back tomorrow, but for now, rest and recovery is needed. So guys, i um, saying that Hazmat Shemaev is obviously sick, guys. If you don't remember, Hazmat Shemaev, when he had COVID, he literally thought it was going to retire him from his UFC and mixed martial arts career because he was taking um, steroids or he's taking something and he kept training. You're not supposed to train and it just made him sicker and sicker. This guy trains all the time. 
your body doesn't know the difference between mental and physical stress, which is all he goes through, meaning your immune system is just shot. Um, Hosmod has already had some serious complications when it comes to stuff like that, where he's had to be on put on a re respirator and ventilator and all that good stuff. Um, I pray for Hosmod. I also I pray for Connor and I pray for John Jones that all of y'all come back and recovery more seriously though for Hamza because it seems more so life threatening. But I would love to see all these guys fight again or at least be healthy. So with all that being said, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. If there's anything else you want me to cover, you want to agree with something, disagree with something, just continue the dialogue in the comments. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.